Welcome to Storytime with Preacher Leon. Good to see each of you here. Uh, I see your smiling faces, and I know that you're smiling, and you and it's it's a good day when we're able to just come together and to learn more and more about our our Heavenly Father. Uh, we had already some time ago we we read the account of Noah uh, and how he he uh, took all the animals and that uh, and his family. And uh, they stayed on the ark, and then they, they uh, came out forth from the ark. This is where we're going to pick up here today. So uh, I, I, if, you'll look, if you're seeing the, the background uh, behind me, this is from uh, Tulip Town. This is in the uh, state of Washington. And uh, uh, you're, gonna see some, you're just going to see some beautiful images of the flowers that are so, so beautiful uh, there. I did not realize that uh, there was such a tremendously big farm out there uh, till just a, uh, just a few days ago there. So enjoy the scenery there behind as we share the story here today. And this story is called A Giant Staircase to Heaven. Uh, so listen to this if you would. Noah and his family lived in the land and his children had children, and those children had more children, and then those children had even more children. Well, I guess you get the picture, until there were lots of people on the earth once again after the flood had come to this earth. Now back then, everyone spoke exactly the same language, so you didn't need to learn any other language, because everyone could say, Hello, and anyone that heard it could understand it. Now, one day, everyone was talking, and they came up with an idea. This sounds like this might not be the best idea, doesn't it? They said, let's build ourselves a beautiful city to live in. It can be our home, they said, and we'll be safe forever and ever. Then they had another idea. Oh, I think this may not be the good idea. They said, let's build a really tall tower that will reach all the way up to heaven. Somehow or another, I'm not sure God was going to be pleased with that. But let's, let's go on a little further. Yes, they said. We said, look, look at us up here. And everyone will look up at us. And we'll look down on them. And then we'll know we are something. We'll be just like God, they said. We'll be famous and safe and happy, and everything will be all right. So they got to work on it, brick by brick. The tower grew higher and higher until it soared above the city, touching the sky. They built stairs in the tower to climb to the top. It was like a giant staircase to heaven. Look, they cheered. We're the ones that built this. See what we can do with our very own hands. They were quite pleased with themselves. But God wasn't pleased with them. God could see what they were doing. They were trying to live without Him. But God knew that wouldn't make them happy, nor would it make them safe, or anything else. If they kept on like this, they would only destroy themselves. And God loved them too much to let that happen. So God stopped their plans. Let's see how God did, did that. One morning they went to work as usual, but everything seemed different. Their words were all new, and they sounded funny to them. You see, God had given each person a completely different language. Suddenly, no one could understand what anyone else was saying. Someone would say, how do you do this or how do you do that? And the other person thought they said, how ugly are you? And it wasn't funny. You would be saying something nice like, such a lovely morning. And maybe somebody might punch you in the nose because they thought you said, hush up, you're boring. You couldn't even say, excuse me, to check to see if you heard right because no one understood that word either. It wasn't easy to work together 
after that. As you can only imagine, people were always fussing, quarreling, fighting, and getting in a dreadful tussle of life. And it seemed like they were grumpier and grumpier until at last they were all too angry to keep on building. And they just had to stop. Now after that, people scattered all over the world, which is how we ended up with so many different languages to this very day. You see, God knew however high they reached, however hard they tried, people would never get back to heaven by themselves. People didn't need a staircase. They needed a rescuer because the way back to heaven wasn't a staircase. It was a person, and that person's name was Jesus Christ. People could never reach up to heaven, so heaven would have to come down to them. And one day, it would. That's a good account, and it tells us how all the different languages uh, happen uh, throughout the world, even that are here today. And that uh, the people thought, well, we can build a staircase to heaven, but God was not going to allow that because they were thinking, look what we have done. And uh, so God brought into their lives all the different languages. And when they couldn't understand one another and all they could do was argue, then they, they went to different places. They traveled distances. And then, then they would make new lives where everyone would speak the same language in that particular nation or country or wherever they were at. So uh, this is a good story. It reminds us we've got to be careful that we always, we let God be God and we listen to what God says and we love him because God always loves us and he cares for us all throughout eternity. Pray with me if you would, please. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful world that you have made and all the people that are in it. From one nation to another nation and all the languages, Lord, that I know that, that uh, they started that very day when they were trying to build that tower to heaven. And Lord, you knew what was best and you stopped it. So Lord, thank you for loving us so much that those things that are not good for us, that you always look out for us. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Keep us safe now, Father, until we will have the opportunity once again to meet again and to once again share another account of what your word says of the things and events that happen throughout the Bible. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful remainder of the week and may God bless.